Hello guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Uh, sorry it's been so long. Um, in fact I got a message off uh, Russell Gosling yesterday asking me if I was alright or I dropped off the face of the earth. Um, yeah, I've, um, it has been a while. Um, I've had a, uh, four or five weeks ago I had an operation on my back to fix my sciatica and my slip disc and I've been off work so I've had lots of, and it's been really nice spending a bit of quiet sort of recovery time, uh, spending it with the family and just doing some, doing, doing nice things, doing a bit of modelling and I, yeah, just not done any YouTube videos, just not felt up to it and just, it's been really nice just actually doing some modelling and just doing family, you know, just basic stuff, it's been really nice. But anyway, in this video, and it probably will be a bit of a long one, um, I want to show you where I've been up to, where I'm up to now, what I've been doing, what I've completed, what I've got on the go, because it's uh, quite done quite a bit since you last saw, and uh, yeah, and then we'll have a little talk, because I was at Telford this year, met up with some really cool dudes, and we'll have a little chat about Telford, some of the things that I got, and just my impressions of it and whatnot. So yes, that's what we'll do, and uh, without further ado, I'll turn the camera around and we'll take a look at what I've been up to. Okay guys, welcome back. Um, excuse the shaky camera, please. Um, this is something that I completed for a friend of mine for their Bolt, Army, uh, Bolt Action collection. It's the 156 scale um, Universal Carrier from, ooh, um, from Warlord Games, that's it. Yeah, it was a lovely little kit to do. Um, can I move into some light? There we go. Yep, fell together really nicely. Um, you didn't want it overly weathered, so I tried to restrain myself as best I could. But uh, yeah, really nice. And uh, good practice on my figure painting too, which turned out fairly well. Let's see if we can hold this up to the light a bit better so we can see. Oh, go on, focus. Ah, there we go. So, yeah. Really quite happy. Really quite happy with how that turned out. Um, yeah, a nice little kit. Highly recommended. Don't know why it's so dark in here. Yeah, oh, there we go. Yeah, you can see there, sort of. So yeah, so I've been doing that. And what else? Oh, there it is. Sneak peek. All right, let me bring this over. I got my Typhoon finished. There we go. Oop, come back a bit for this. This is the um, 172nd oh, Academy Typhoon. Lovely kit. No real issues whatsoever with this kit. Flew together. Um, yeah. Came out really well. Really quite happy with this. If I get to see if I can get up and close and. Uh, Tried some more aggressive, oh, there we go, tried some more aggressive chipping on this. And yeah, really quite happy with how the chip, the chipping rather has come out and there's cockpit detail in there but you'll not be able to see that. And uh, yeah, so there she is. And I got this little uh, acrylic mirror, I painted the invasion stripes and whatnot and I thought it was a shame that you couldn't see them. So I just got this little acrylic mirror thing off eBay, at four quid. And if we come down here. If we can focus in a bit better. There we go. Yeah. Really quite pleased with her overall. I did cock up though. You might have already spotted it. If I turn it around this way, you'll definitely see it. The roundels don't match up. Because I took a break from this kit after doing one side of the roundels, when I came back to do the next side, yeah, I'd put the first light in the wrong place. So She's going to be no contestant, she's going to be no uh, no prize winner, but free-handed the camo, I think the weathering and the fading has come out really nicely, and uh, yeah, I want to show you the underside. There we go, Let's see if that will focus, yeah, some nice sort of fading and streaking effects and things, try to grime up quite a lot, yeah. Really happy with that. Definitely one of my uh, definitely one of my favourite planes. 
So yeah, so I've been doing that as well. And then what I'm currently working on now, if we move over here, is this. This is the Academy. I know, I've just got a, got a thing for Academies at the moment. The Academy 172nd scale um, F16. And I've got all the main... I just wanted, I just wanted to paint something. Um, I've really found that at the moment I'm not at all bothered about the building. The building, in fact, is my least favourite part. Uh, but yes, it's the painting that I enjoy. And I tried some post shading on this for the first time which really worked quite nicely. I was very happy with this and some bleaching of the panels and whatnot. The fit of this kit is a bit meh. It's alright in places but if you look here the gun and the canopy and yeah it's all a bit loosey-goosey but like I say I wasn't trying I was, I, I was just smashing through this because I really wanted to I hadn't done a modern jet since my first ever kit which is that gnat over there which is terrible but yeah, this is looking a lot better, and uh, if I just show you the underneath. Oh, there we go. It's a, such, it's a big kit for 170 seconds. It really is. If she'll focus in. Still got the uh, main wheel well to paint white and whatnot. But yeah, coming together really well. Ooh, I've got the um, exhaust to do there and some colours for them. The, 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 uh, yeah, the exhaust, the jet, the exhaust nozzle. And I've got the um, fin all painted up and ready to rock and roll. I'll, I'll attach that afterwards, but that's going to sit just there. Yeah, going to look pretty good. I'm really quite happy with how she is at the moment. Yeah, and that's me. That's what I'm up to. So, Typhoon, Universal Carrier, hanging precariously off the edge. I need to get a bigger bench. And uh, yeah, that's where we are. So let me turn the camera around and uh, we'll have a little chat. Right then guys, so yeah, that's what I'm up to at the moment. Um, yeah, really enjoying the modelling at the moment. Really got a really got a passion for it at the moment, more so, well not more so than normal, but really been nice to have some time just to crack on and really really get some get some time on the bench. Um, yeah. The painting side of it I'm loving. Trying new things all the time. Um, Really getting to grips with the uh, uh, what a near now. Had this for a year, so I might, I might do a year in type review of it because holding it beautifully. <sighs> Fantastic airbrush, could not recommend it enough. Uh, but yeah, the building side of things falling by the wayside a little bit. I need to spend more time on that. I need to really motivate myself to get that right and not just rush to the painting stage. But hey, you know. No one's perfect, everyone's still learning. Um, so what else? Yes. Uh, Telford, we'll talk about Telford first. Uh, went there on the Sunday, this is my third Telford. Went there on the Sunday for the first time ever. Normally go on a Saturday, but I couldn't this time. I met up with some fantastic people. Uh, Guido, Guido Hop. Spent most of the day with him. What a top bloke. Uh, talented and also really sound. I mean, I wasn't feeling my best that day because I'd been on the old uh, jars the night before, a previous engagement. But uh, yeah, what a smashing guy. Uh, dead fun. I managed to meet some people that I'd have never got to have met otherwise. Some really cool people. That guy is very well known, very well liked and for good reason. So yeah, nice one Guido. Made it a really, really cool experience at Telford this year. Again, met up with all the other guys, uh, Chris and Alex. You guys sound as a pound. Disappointing number of kits bought though, lads. Got to try a bit harder. Um, but yeah, and uh, Wappy Nutter. Um, oh God, loads of people. Um, uh, making models again. Um, oh, uh, Waterloo. Sam bloke. Waterloo, top lad. He, uh, yeah, loads of... Uh, I'll probably miss some people out as well, and I do apologise. But uh, yeah, it was a lovely day meeting up with everybody. Uh, especially Guido, you know. And... Riding on Guido's coattails, <laughs> he introduced me to a, a guy and a company, the guy who owns the company, that I'd not heard of before. And it is um, Ushi. get one that actually says the whole name on it. Ushi uh, van der Rosten. Now, nah, nah, this was a bit weird, but um, because I was with Guido, <laughs> and Guido was singing my praises far too highly. He gave me some freebies, um, yeah. 
So, <laughs> what I got for free, I couldn't believe it. Um, so I will be doing reviews on all of these because you wanted, well, I said that I would and he said that we could do some work together or whatnot. But whatever, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm very, very small. Um, yeah, but he, he gave me these to try. So this is, these are all, this is decals. And um, all different types of wood veneer. So it'd be really cool maybe for the experimenting with like cockpit insides or lots of different uses. But yeah, you can see the all different texture and the greens and things. So I'll be definitely trying those and giving them a review. So some nice, cool, some interesting, different way of using decals, which will be nice. He also gave me, that's what I am excited about, this is rigging. So a little bob in there. Because I've just been using this stuff that I got from my very first Telford. And it's good, it's stretchy, but it's, it's a paint, which I thought at that scale, at like 172nd, which is what I've been focusing on. I'm going to branch out, but it's a bit... And the easy line that everyone talks about is just really expensive, like 12, 12 15 quid. So, but anyway, I didn't need to in the end, because he's supplied me with this. So I'll definitely be doing a view of this. Uh, not on the F-16 then, <laughs> but soon as. And the last thing that he gave me, for, again for free, you can't believe it, was this. I wish I will be using on the F-16. This is metal polishing powder. And I guess it's a bit like um, what I've been doing. I uh, shave or grind uh, graphite, like a pencil down, to give it a sort of metally buff to it. If you can see in there, this is powder. And you put it over a black base or a metal base or a steel base or a dark base and it'll give it a pop, here if you want, you can read that and pause it, but yeah, so I'll definitely be trying that on the F-16, probably on the, um, where are we, on this exhaust here, on the vents, try and give that more of a three-dimensional look to it, so yeah, and we'll see how we get on with it, but yeah, getting free stuff, couldn't believe it, I also bought loads of bits and bobs, this was a bits and bobs Telford for me this year, um, Mr. Cement S, some more um, bits, loads of stuff from Tremendous, Tremendous, the diorama companies, I've got a diorama planned. I only bought one kit and that's this to go with said diorama. But that's, uh, this, this is going to be a present for my, what for someone, I can't say in case they watch, but this is going to be a present for a family member. So I've got loads of stuff down there, loads of diorama stuff. Got a big base for a pound, it was in the off cuts bin. I've got it to show you this. It's, it's ridiculous. I can't see what's wrong with it. This is going to be the base of the diorama. And yeah, it's got some marks and things, but there's no there's no chips or anything out of it really. Uh, Telford for a quid, a pound. So that's going to be that's going to be covered with groundwork, and also. The, uh, I got the, the tree kit as well from Tremendous. So I've got loads of groundwork stuff, loads of supplies, and also the tree to make the tree. So I'm looking forward to doing that. That'll be something. Oh, excuse me. That'll be something that I've not done before. I also got uh, the other, oh, the other big thing that I got. Not big, but a bit of a wedge. I got a lot, got quite a lot of stowage because I've got my Sherman to do and some more tank. I got. Going into armour, I wanted some more stowage and things. So I got three sets of the stowage from Value Gear. Resin pieces look quite nice. And uh, from the MIG store, I think it was where MIG was, I can't remember now, but I got these. Uh, five quid for all of them. It's different, I don't know if you can see this, three different thicknesses of pre weathered, pre painted chain. So for my upcoming Tiger build and all my other armour builds, yeah, some chain. So yeah, that was about it. I got some, got some more refills for my uh, flexi file. So yeah, just odds and sods, loads of odds and sods. Um, and also, most importantly, new saw blades for my saw because I snap these like it's nobody's business. Oh, and also the. Uh, the CA, the CA applicator from Albion Alloys. 
not tried this yet, but I've heard really good things and I was getting annoyed using cocktail sticks. So, you know, that's what you do at top. Oh, and um, also for my armor kits, I got the uh, MIG Tools Colors set. So I've not used any of this new MIG ammo or blah, blah, blah. I never used any of their paints. I use uh, Mr. Color or Tamiya. But uh, hoping these bush paint well. If they bush paint anything like this, the, the model color, then we'll be quids in. But it seems a bit thinner, so I'll have to give this a day in court and we'll see how we get on. But yeah, that's basically why I got some more odds inside. Loads of diorama stuff. I'm not going to show you packets of static grass and packets of little leaves and things, whatever. You, just, you know what you're on about. But um, it was really quiet at Telford. Like, really quiet. I mean, like I say, it might just be the Sunday thing. But um, I met up with Paul and Lee and Paul as well from ISM. And they said even on the Saturday that it was about 20% down. I guess the year before was the 50th birthday, so it was going to be round. But, yeah. I enjoyed it though, it was really nice. It was, it was a nice chilled Telford experience. Slightly slim pickings, probably because it's a Sunday though, everyone's been through it. Um, and the kits, like that, I still paid £14. I could probably get that for like eight quid on eBay if I tried hard enough. The kits across the board, just, I couldn't see the deals, you know? I think Chris and Alex were saying the same thing, I just, just couldn't see the deals. I know that I'm a bit of a, bit of a, I don't know what the word, um, I, I like eBay, I like, I know you should support companies and things like that, but I'm a bit of a hound for a bargain, if there's a bargain to be had, if there's a bargain to be had, um, I like to have it, I don't like paying a lot for kits, and there just wasn't, oh, I didn't seem to see anything, really, that, Shouted by me, good price. It was, you know. But hey, I still enjoyed it. I loved meeting everybody that made it for me and getting some supplies and what. Just a lovely day out. And the competition area again was awesome. Some of those entries were so cool. Really, really cool. And yeah, that was my Telford. I've also, last thing before I go, um, just ordered yesterday my entry into Cohen, in honour of Cohen. Tiger One Sig. I got the Dragon Kit 6700, the mid production Tiger One with Zimmerit, the Dragon Zimmerit. It's a birthday, uh, Christmas present, and um, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I've built one tank, proper armour, One. I've built little bits of armour, but one tank so far, and that's the Panzer II. And uh, yeah, I think I've paid just under 50 quid for this kit. I'll probably get stung at customs for an extra couple of quid. And it's where I shouldn't have. <laughs> I really shouldn't have bought this kit. But I got the Tigers in Normandy book off Amazon for like six quid. And that's inspired me. So it had to have Zimmer it. And, you know, sod it. You only live once. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll be entering that when it turns up. Um, 